analysis of variance, which is popularly known as ANOVA, is of two types. That is single factor or one way ANOVA and two factor or two way ANOVA. This two way analysis of variance may be with replication or without uh, having data in replicated form. So let us get acquainted with important points related with two-way ANOVA and how to perform uh, this particular type of test. See, when we have data which uh, represents the effect of two factors on a single phenomenon, then we involve analysis of variance of two-way types and uh, this we can understand by considering an example like uh, the effect of maternal genotype and temperature. These two things are being observed on the number of progeny produced. That is there are uh, inseminated suppose Drosophila females. These females have to lay eggs now they are of different genotypes that is females are of varying genotypes and they are being cultured at varying temperature so these are two separate uh, factors one is maternal genotype other one is temperature under which they are being reared and th these two factors affect and their effect is being observed on a single phenomenon and that is number of progeny produced. So here we shall be observing whether maternal genotype has its effect and temperature also plays important role. Since two factors are being considered, it becomes two-way ANOVA. Now, as I said, it could be with replication or without replication. So first we are going in the case without replication. Now let us see how this data will be arranged because this is most important thing to understand. Suppose there are three different genotypes. That is capital AA, capital A small a, and small a small a. So these three different kinds of individuals are there. And they are being reared at three different temperature. That is 20 degrees Celsius temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius. Now the number of progeny produced will be put over here in these blank you know, rectangles. The number of progeny can be adjusted. So those individuals who are of genotype capital AA, the number of progeny they have produced at 20 degrees Celsius will be written over here. Likewise, those who are of genotype capital AA and produce progeny at 25 degrees Celsius their number will be put over here. This way we can arrange the number and we can go for the analysis. Now I have taken an example over here. This uh, experiment has been done in the laboratory. That is, there are three different kinds of females. These females are already inseminated uh, females with the males of their own types. So there are wild type females. There are females which have curled wing and there are females which are white eyed. So genetically three different types of females are there because curled winged females and white eyed females are there just because of mutation in their specific regions in the chromosome. And these females are being cultured at 20 degree Celsius temperature, 25 degree Celsius temperature and 30 degree Celsius temperature. And at this temperature, the number of females, the number of progeny produced by these females uh, is given in this table. So we have to analyze whether the genotype, that is these three different types of females, they produce significantly different number of progeny and whether the temperature influences the uh, number of progeny produced. So these two factors are being considered. 
what we shall be doing actually uh, this can be manually done but manual you know attempt will be much complicated so to make it easy i will demonstrate how we shall uh, uh, put the data in excel sheet to analyze the entire thing so you will simply put this data in the excel sheet you just open excel and uh, there uh, you can put this data so uh, exactly the same data which I depicted in earlier slide that has been shown here and then you will click data portion which is appearing on the upper side so when you will click this data then on the right upper side uh, right you know upper corner data analysis will appear unfortunately that is not shown in this slide uh, and that is actually not in the range so when you will click data analysis then you will be able to get a box very close to this uh, you know already put data you will have this box uh, and in this box uh, several kinds of you know analysis aspect will be given so these are the programs even some more programs are there which will be appearing over there but we actually need ANOVA and see here there are three different kinds of ANOVA that is single factor two factor with replication and two factor without replication so we are going to apply two factor without replication in the present case so we will select this one and then click OK so when we select two factor without replication then uh, again we have to click OK and after this we shall be getting another box in which input range will be appearing. This input range will be blank portion. So you will have to select the entire quantitative portion. See here not qualitative only quantitative area will be selected and it will automatically come in the input range rest of the things will be as such because alpha level at which we are going to test will be 0 0.05 and then a new sheet will be appearing in the excel sheet itself so when we will click ok then this ANOVA table will be appearing and this is the entire you know uh, analysis portion we can infer our result from uh, this table itself so what we have to see rows means that indicates different kinds of temperature that is 20 degree 25 degree and 30 degree celsius temperature so we are observing since there are two uh, in three rows so the degree of freedom that is two likewise uh, the columns means three different kinds of genotypes are there so three minus one that is 2 so degree of freedom in these cases are 2 and 2 and their total will be appearing in the error portion so we are observing that among temperature which is depicted through rows the F value has come 79.359 and uh, the critical value or table value is 6.944 so we observe that F value is very much high then F critical so probability will be very very less and in the present case it is 0 0.0006 so we can say that there exists very significant difference among the temperature it means temperature plays important role or significant role in the number of progeny produced likewise regarding genotype you can go through the columns and here in case of column the F value is 12.43 and critical value is 6.94 so we are observing that the F value is very high than uh, this F uh, critical so here also significant difference exists among the genotypes so this way you can analyze your data and uh, another case which I have considered here is with replication that is your data you have performed experiment several times and uh, data will be arranged in such a manner that uh, 
all such you know accumulated uh, things could be put over here so there are three different genotypes suppose and uh, you have performed your, your experiment repeatedly uh, one two three times so 20 degrees celsius temperature at this temperature you perform experiments three times likewise at 25 degrees celsius you have performed it three times there should be symmetry and at 30 degrees celsius also you have performed experiment three times the results you can put over here in these blank rectangles and exactly the same thing i have shown in this table three different types of females are there wild type curled winged and white eyed and then they are being reared at varying temperature like 20 degrees celsius you know four times you have recorded your data at 25 degrees celsius again four times you have recorded your data and that is shown here in the table and at 30 degree also it has been recorded four times so exactly the same uh, pattern will be followed in this case also and you will be going for data analysis two way with replication here you will select your data is already there in the excel sheet and you will click ok button and then this input range will be appearing this time you can select even the qualitative portion that is the data portion as well as the characteristics which are written on the upper side as well as on the left side so you can select the entire portion and this data will simply come in the input range now after that uh, you have to write the rows per sample this is another important thing you should notice that rows number of rows will have to be mentioned over here so in the present case we have considered four rows so that is put over here and then you will click ok now uh, this ANOVA table will be appearing in front of you besides this there will be another table in which averages variance values range so many other things will also be given but you are mainly concerned uh, with the significance level among the different genotypes and the effect of varying temperature so what is shown here that uh, you have you know here rows are appearing and in that case the f value calculated value is very high than the f critical value which has come 3.354 so you are rejecting the null hypothesis that is there exists a significant difference among the uh, different varying temperature then you have columns that is three different kinds of genotypes are there wild type curled winged and white eyed and in that case also you find significant difference because the probability level is very very uh, you know less that is 0 0.0001 the calculated value is very high than the table value and you can also see the interaction between the two that is interaction between genotype and the environment environment means the varying temperature so this interaction portion it is another you know good thing that you can also see the effect of genotype as well as temperature on the number of progeny produced and in the present case also this f value is uh, more than the f critical value uh, critical value is 2.7 whereas calculated value is 6.13 and in this case there is significant difference so there is role of genotype as well as temperature and both also leave their significant effect on the number of progeny produced so these are the steps which you will be applying to analyze your uh, data uh, 